So name of the reading is uh, Hedging Strategies Using the uh, Futures Contract. Okay. Uh, can anyone help me understand what what should I what should we be thinking of hedging? Minimizing, Minimizing or mitigating your risk. So these are the learning outcomes. The first one is understanding. So we will understand what is a short and long hedges. Uh, I'm going to make you write down certain stuffs. So what I want you to write down is learning outcome A. Have you given the heading in the notes? So learning outcome A, short and long hedges. Okay. Then below that write down short hedge, short hedge, make an arrow and say short on future contract short on future contract okay below that you will say that is i dot e dot that is natural long position natural long position on underlying asset natural long position on underlying asset a natural long position on underlying asset yes a farmer so Ashish says that a farmer will have a natural long position on the underlying asset. Do you agree? So imagine farmer has a particular commodity, let us say corn. Okay. So if he's a producer of corn, he will expect that prices of the corn should go up. And when he's expecting that prices of corn should go up, that means he has a, a natural long position. Do you agree with this? So why are we calling this natural because he has not purchased them that position is inherent to the type of or nature of business that he is doing. Now he wants to hedge the risk. So what is the risk for the farmer <laughs> that prices of the corn will go down and then to hedge the risk what he will do is he will enter into a short future. Okay, And then this type of hedge we would refer to as the short hedge. Are we okay here? So write down this example quickly. Have you understood this concept? So we'll look at some of the theory. Uh, can you think of uh, some business where you'll have a natural short position on some commodity? Some business where now farmer had a natural long position. Can you think of some business where we'll have a natural short position? Sorry? Automobiles, correct. So an automobile uh, industry will have a natural short position on the prices of metal. Do you agree? Because if I am an uh, automobile producer, I would expect that prices of my raw material should go down. So I will benefit when the prices of metal goes down. Yes or no? So I have a natural short position on that particular commodity. And to hedge against that, I will take which hedge? Long hedge. We will enter into a long side on the future contract which will give us right and obligation to tell me right and obligation to buy i hope we are we are together on this are we should we go ahead okay next learning outcome arguments for and against hedging this is learning outcome b arguments for and against hedging okay so say arguments for let's put a subheading let's say arguments for and point number one to reduce risk to reduce risk okay point number two lesser uncertainty lesser uncertainty makes sense so when you hedge you kind of uh, reduce your risk and there's also less uncertainty because you know at what price you're going to buy or what price you're going to sell then below that say argument against argument against Argument against number one, less profitability. Number one, less profitability. Okay, so we are going to do an example so you understand what I mean by this. Uh, so let's think from the perspective of Infosys, an Indian IT company which provides services to a lot of uh, IT services to a lot of investment banks all over the world. So imagine Infosys is... Uh, expecting to receive Infosys is expecting to receive let us say USD 100 million in three months all right now 
they there is an uncertainty in the system that do not know at what price they will be able to convert that to indian rupees yes or no so spot price today spot price today is rupees 69 for a dollar which means if they had an opportunity to convert dollars into rupees today for every dollar they will receive 69 but they are not going to do it today they are going to do it 3 months from now so they go to the dealer and ask him what is the forward price okay so dealer quotes them a forward price of 6970 for a dollar and what infosys says is infosys says fine we will like to take a short position on this forward okay so short position on the forward means we are entering into a contract that we are going to sell our dollars at the price of 69.70 no matter what we have agreed for this price now after 3 months after 3 months the spot price in the market turned out to be rupees 71 for a dollar is that okay so at what price will infosys be able to convert their usd 69.70 but had they not hedged then at what price they would have converted 71 so which means hedging came at the cost of this potential profit however instead of 71 it could have also been 68 isn't it so hedging is reducing that uncertainty but it is also killing your potential profits so this is what we will say is reduction in potential profits okay so you can write down this example quickly <clears throat> 